Yo, what is up, Hobbit Homens? This is Cliff, and in this video I'm gonna show you the most useful tool that you will ever need for the Hobbit. So here is how it looks like. This is a trainer that was made using the cheat engine, and inside of it you can find different hotkeys and the effects that they're gonna enable. Make sure to run it after you launch the main game. So the first thing I want to show you is actually a fly mode. If you're going to press X on the keyboard, it will enable the fly mode and control X will disable it. Then while we are in fly mode, we can press A and D keys to go up or down. Also, while we are in fly mode, we can press Z on the keyboard and it will make us go through the objects so we can fly through them. If you're going to press control Z, it will stop this thing and we won't be able to fly through objects anymore. Next feature is switching between the 30 FPS mode and the 60 FPS. So if you're gonna press equals on the keyboard, it will gonna make you go from 30 FPS straight to 60 FPS. And as you can see, this is way more smoother than the regular game. And if you wanna go back to 30 FPS, you just press control and again, the equals key and gonna make you go back to 30 FPS mode. One more important feature about the fly mode, if you're gonna die somewhere, you can just press X and we're gonna resurrect. Probably one of the most important features is the system menu. If you're gonna press tilde, it will gonna enable it. And inside of it, you can find a lot of different stuff. If you want to exit it, just press escape and then gonna go back to game. Then if you're gonna press V, the Bilbo is gonna be undying, so let us fall. And as you can see, I lose no health. And also our stamina is gonna be locked, so you can make a lot of jump attacks. Then if we're gonna press slash, it will gonna enable the cylinder around Bilbo. And if we're gonna press dot, it will gonna enable the cylinder around NPCs. Then we can see object outlines with square key. Sometimes it can be very useful, especially when adding your custom models to the game. Then when we press 8, it will gonna add us some more stones. With 9, you can get some additional health. Also, you can see some Bilbo stats at the top and some position and the state run. I know this information might be useful sometimes. Again, the control and the same keys are to disable these features. Now let's go to the numpad section. If you're gonna press 7 on the numpad, it's gonna enable us the polycache so you can see actually the polygons of all the objects and again control 7 to disable this with 4 we're gonna able to see the triggers and the volumes in the game with 1 Bilbo will gonna become transparent this is very useful for trailers when pressing 9 on the numpad it will gonna disappear all the play surfaces with 6 you'll be able to see the lightnings that are present in the game and the area that they are affecting with 3 the skybox we're gonna disappear. Sometimes it may be useful, for example, in Mirkwood. And then with the plus on your numpad, you're gonna be able to disable the fog and shadows that are around the scene. One of the most important things are actually the F4 and F3 keys. When you're gonna press F4, the game time will gonna double. And if you're gonna press the control and then four, the game time will gonna be four times faster. And using the F3 key, we're gonna make you go back to normal. With the F6 key, you can switch between different render modes. The developers for using them may be useful for you as well. You see some different shadings and light that are around the scene. And one very cool trick to show you at the end, how to make the Bilbo super fast. So you go to fly mode, then you press 5 to become even faster while flying, and then press Control F4, and then press Z to make go through objects, and you're gonna be very fast. So you can get anywhere you want. And one more feature to show you is actually the K and L keys. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna change your FOV. So with that, you can play on ultra wide screens and so on. And also if you're gonna press it a bunch of times, it will gonna make your screen go into the other direction. So you can try, try to play Hobbit like this. This is very fun. Okay guys, so that was it. Thanks for watching. Trainer can be downloaded in the description.